Hello everyone, this week I am creating an acrylic painting of this lovely Bernese dog. The reference image you can find in the description below and it's from a website called Paint My Photo um, and it's free to use and the creator of the photograph is called Azchi. I think it's Azchi or it could be Azki. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name. But uh, so it's with um, much thanks to the photographer there on Paint My Photo. As you can see, I'm using, an, again, a, an acrylic paper. And I've just, I'm using it upright today. I find that uh, I get on better with it, things being upright rather than flat on the on the table. Um, but you do whatever suits yourselves. And with this, I've used a charcoal pencil as normal, and it's a medium one actually. So it's a Derwent charcoal pencil, medium, or you can use light. Um, and with regards to when you paint over it, it's not going to make any difference really to the colour and uh, so I just paint right over it so that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah I'm going to start with doing the background um, and then we'll get into it proper but for the background I want some dark greens and lighter greens so if I just move you down to my palette we have um, to make my darker greens I want to use ultramarine blue and um, yellow ochre. If I want it even darker then I will add a touch of red. The green, this this green has a, is a little bit warmer so if I wanted to add a bit yellow to it I could. I've got some white um, on here as well just here you can't really see it. <laughs> there we go. So yeah I think that will make a good start. Um, I'd like to make a kind of a vignette effect, I think, so it's darker on the outside. Yeah, so let's give this a go. So I'm going to use a big flat brush. It's a, what's it, what is it? Oh, it's a number 10 bright. I just pick up whatever I fancy that's in my, um, my little uh, pots that I like to put my paintbrushes in. Right, okay, so we're gonna, gonna get my ultramarine blue and my yellow ochre. Oh, I want that darker. basic background just got it in I can adjust that later if I want to um, I have some more blue out some burnt umber some more yellow ochre uh, some that's a, my black for the background of the blackish fur I will mix my black with my blue maybe a little bit of brown some raw rumber and I'm going to mix for the light fur it'll be a yellow raw umber and a white I think we'll give that a go see what happens now I don't use this brush very often it's a filbert and I'm going to see whether it's it'll do its job I'm going to get some of the black in here so mix my Mars black and a little bit of blue.
sap green. Put it on both. Okay, so this is the first layer. As you can see, it's pretty much very rough, scruffed in, you know, it's just, um, you can see the effect of the dry brush. I quite like that it's in the background. I really like that. Um, but yeah, so this is what my palette looks like. Very messy, but that's cool. <laughs> and uh, I might just get another clean palette going on in a minute for the second layer we'll see a uh, cup of tea of course <laughs> very necessary um but i'm gonna refresh my water i think get some smaller brushes see if this one this one might work better yeah i'll try that one and uh yeah so the coverage isn't so good at this point but the more layers i put on the better coverage i'll get Though you might want to gesso a canvas beforehand, that might have been a better idea. <laughs> so yeah, I shall continue and uh, I look forward to seeing what happens. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> now and uh, I'm ready to do some of the nose and the brown bits. I think I might start with these brown bits and maybe a little bit of the eye um, get this sorted and get the mouth and then work down. Okay so I'm, again I'm going smaller. Hang on am I? Mixing my yellow ochre and my bit of sienna. A little bit more yellow. It's still wet, so. Might just put a little bit of red, or maybe no, we'll try straight burnt umber. Oh yeah, not burnt umber, burnt sienna. Burnt umber and oh, umber just underneath. even smaller brush now. A bit 
more white to that yellow ochre. It's a mixture of yellow ochre and burnt sienna. I think so. some crimson.
So this is the second um, going over it, which I've quite enjoyed. It's coming along and um, yeah, really enjoying the fur and the and the next layer will be much more detailed. I'll get that item. Get some more texture on here. Sort this out a little bit. Mouth needs more detail. And the nose. But I'm nearly there. <laughs> 